Hey everybody, it's Ready1940 here, and today we are in Stormworks looking at LHA2. This is the third update, and I was going to show you guys all the tedious water work things that I was doing uh, when I left off with the last video. Um, so, let's take a look here. If you look closely on the outside, the island uh, platform has been extended by one brick, and the reason, or one block, sorry, is because we've got fire stations all around the ship now so that you can see the little red fire stations those are all host stations and they actually work they're connected to the fire main system that I plumbed into the ship now so that all works um, actually let's take one more look at the exterior the hangar bay has been pretty much maximized for height so it wasn't it wasn't optimized actually uh, compared to the, the height of the hangar uh, and the door so now it, it goes as high as possible and because of that, you can fit SH-159 in there, and um, CTF Raven has made this helicopter called the Axolotl, and that can fold up really nicely and also fit down there. Uh, also put some charging stations on the elevator, so if you park your helicopter on there, uh, you can charge it, so you're not kind of worried about the battery running out and the uh, losing the grip with those mags over there, or the small connectors. Um, so inside the skin ship, let's take a look around. Not much has changed up here. The major thing was just we've extended this around by one block. Um, and we do have fire stations all throughout the ship so we can show you using some of that. There is one over here. Now all these all these uh, stations all work the same. You basically plug your hose to the anchor there and then turn on the valve and then hit the R button and then your nozzle will activate and you can fire some water. So this is pretty much good to go um, all over the flight deck. There's none on the port side catwalks just because they're kind of packed already um, just with equipment and the hose reels so you've got quite a bit on the starboard side so there's one up there there's two on the back side of that island there's another one um, well there's one there and there's one on this side so you can use that one and then there's another one here um, and that, uh, yeah, for the elevator, like I said, we've got some charging points here, so we can plug in our helicopters. Uh, this damn thing <laughs> gets stuck. It works way better now in port. Um, I, I did some work on it, but it's not doing really well when we're under underway, and I don't know if that's kind of like just a physics bug. Uh, I'm going to try and brute force it and maybe add some more of those sliders, um, uh, or tracts to motorize it some more and get some more power into it. Um, but yeah, it, it works like a charm in port, but when we're out to sea, and even with the slight chop, it's just not working as nice, as as um, reliable as I'd like to see it. So, inside the ship, got a lot of fire hoses, or uh, fire pumps and stations everywhere to get those things, uh, get the fire main pumped around the ship. Uh, this space is new. This is the CO's cabin. It's really basic. It's just got a light and a heater, uh, the bed, and a fake like laundry bin thing. And of course the bathroom. So we now have working working sinks and working drains, working showers with hot water, working drains, and then working toilets. This is actually pumping out water as well. Uh, and then that goes down into a drain as well. So all the drains are all hooked up to their perspective, uh, respective tanks. So uh, the sinks and the shower will go to the gray water holding tank and then the toilet's sewage is going to go down to the black water tank. Uh, so I'll show you that too. That was a lot of stuff I, I did basically work so much on the liquid side of the, the house on the ship uh, so that we can get those working stations. Also over here is stuff you haven't seen. This is a basic galley. It's not finished yet. I'm going to make this uh, this heat up and stuff and work and then um, if I haven't already I'm going to make sure this exhaust port actually goes out to the to the outside just mas basic mess line um, we'll add the light and heater and stuff in there in a bit uh, this is the the cruise mess I'm not happy with it because it's so tiny and it's just uh, I was I had to fill in the space and I had the galley here and it doesn't make sense to put the galley or the mess uh, somewhere over there uh, when the galley's over here so uh, it's just, it is what it is. We're going to have to live with it. I'm just not happy with it because it's so tiny. Uh, all this stuff is um, department head burlings. Um, all the same. 
And uh, you guys have seen back there the uh, junior officers birthing, I think. That was in the last video. So nothing's changed really back here except we had that host station. So once again, that host station works. Um, and on the other side, filled out this space. Uh, this is a giant bathroom, so there's these sinks all work. Uh, the deck drains all work. Uh, the, the drains all work. Um, toilets all work. There's a couple of them here. So they all flush. They all go down to the black water tank. And uh, the showers all work as well. So yeah, let's make sure that one's working. Yep, it's going. So yeah. This is primarily where the crew's going to use the restroom. Uh, and we have a way. Well, let's go down the other way here. Now, normally on the ship, um, in the past, we've been going down this way to get down to the engineering deck. But we can actually go... I've made another pathway. Oh, before we go down there, let's go up here so I can show you some additions. Um, so, CTF Raven made uh, and the Axolotl helicopter that was able to fit on this ship. And it works with our landing system. And so he's he's currently making a thing that can use waypoints and stuff, but it's sort of like a programmable station, and you program a, a data cartridge, and you can hand carry that and plug it into the helicopter. So you've got your waypoints planned out on a mission planner, and then you can pull it, put it into the helicopter, and use it when you fly the helicopter, which is really cool. Uh, but because of that, it's going to need some space. So we're probably going to put like a avionics office or something, maybe up here, or maybe cut into the wall and, and use this space for that, so we can have that mission planner. It makes sense to have something like that near the, the hangar bay, so uh, that's probably where that's going to go. And if we go forward, we've added a simple medical bay over here, just one one bed, nothing fancy. And then you guys have seen this, this is the forward generator. And then over here is the anchors. So outside there are two anchors on an automatic system made by a chicken sore, I think that's his name. And the system is really simple. I like it. It's basically, if you're in the bridge, you can hit this port, activate port or starboard anchor, and then the anchors will go down automatically until they um, hit bottom. And when they hit the bottom, they'll stop uh, paying out the winch, and then they'll just connect to the bottom. So holds the ship in place. Really neat nice system. All right, so now uh, we can get down to the engineering deck from this uh, ladder well that, that I created. Uh, all the ladder wells on my ship, the main ones are, are sealed up going down below the decks. Uh, the thought is if the below decks start flooding, we don't want to spread the flooding vertically. So we'll, we'll seal up the, the decks that way. Um, so first thing you see here is the fire main. This is a fire main tank. It's got 10,000 liters of water capacity. And uh, it's going to provide water to all the fire stations on the ship. Uh, over here is... Uh, oh, that's the, <laughs> that's the ladder well. You guys saw that. Uh, that goes down to the bilge, and this is AUX-2. So AUX-2 is where we've got our, our potable water system. So this has... Let's turn some lights on here. This is the seawater holding tank. So it takes the seawater from the sea chest, and we have some controls in CCS that'll show you for all these water systems. And it takes the seawater from the sea chest, holds it in that tank, and when we turn on the system, it will pump it into these desalinators, and they will provide us with fresh water. So after that, they'll go to this fresh cold water tank, uh, and they'll sit there. And if we want, we can pump some water over to the hot water tank, and this guy, we can set our temperature with this control here, so we can <laughs> we don't want 1200 degrees, but we want 120 Fahrenheit, and we turn it on, and basically the electric furnace in there is going to heat up, and then the water's temperature is going to slowly rise to 120, and then it's going to just uh, maintain that temperature. So that is, this, this hot water then gets um, pumped up to all the showers and it gets pumped up to the sink in the galley so it's got hot water. Uh, the cold water gets pumped up to all the toilets and then all the sinks in like the bathroom so um, that's where that water goes and uh, if we go over here this is the midships generator room but uh, over here is aux one so we can go into this guy and this is where our tanks you can see these pipes and stuff. This is where the gray water tank is, and this is the black water tank. 
and then this is the treated black water tank. So the way it works on this ship, if you flush the toilet, it's going to go through these pipes with this color and it's going to get to the black water tank. Now you, sh you have the ability to pump it over the side if you want, um, untreated, but if you want to treat it first, or for the regulations say you have to, we kind of simulate that with these desalinators, so we'll just pump the water through it, and then on the back side of that treated, we'll call it treated black water, um, that can then get pumped into the holding tank for that. And then the treated black water, you can then also pump over the side if you'd like. Uh, so that is simulating the treatment cycle of that. Uh, gray water stuff, you don't have to treat it most of the times. I think maybe in some places you do, or some protected waters you do, um, but you can overboard discharge. So we just have the option to overboard discharge. There's not really a treatment system that I put on the ship for this. Uh, and I'll show you the controls for that. But yeah, this has got lighting and uh, it's really basic at the point at the moment. Um, I'll probably add more gauges and or dials to give you more information on what these things are doing um, pressure wise. So uh, this is the electrical room, just a battery. I haven't changed anything. I think I'm going to move the breakers some uh, somehow to uh, get fitness, maybe this wall and CCS. Uh, CCS now actually has a ton, so you've always seen this stuff here. Uh, this automatically comes on when the ship spawns, so the we have these feeder tanks, tank 5 and 6, they go to the, the engines on the port and starboard side, and these other tanks are set to empty, so they are emptying themselves so that they, they can go into 5 and 6 to fill them. Uh, so this way you don't have to manage the tanks. If you want to deviate from that, uh, go ahead. But this is basically allowing us to take fuel from all the tanks and go into the engine. So that's set up that way. You don't have to do anything. Uh, over here, this is all how it starts when the ship comes into spawn. There's a lot of stuff, but this is basically the whole water system right here. So uh, you've got your fire main stuff in red. I'm going to add some more dials, I think, because I want to add three dials at least for the... Uh, various pressures um, for fire main forward midships and aft so you can see that and then over here is we've got the gray water tank so we can just discharge it or uh, and then these buttons that are on are the black water suction and gray water suction so they're always on when the ship spawns so that way you can just use the the toilet or use a sink and it's automatically going to take the water down into the uh, respective tanks um, so this is untreated black water discharge uh, overboard so you can do it that way, or you can treat the black water, and then from here, it goes into this treated black water tank, and then you can press the overboard discharge, and this just gives you all the flow rates of that. Um, so sea chest is, if you don't know, it's, it's how the ships normally get water, uh, seawater into them. So a lot of s creations in Stormworks have a million different uh, things going out to the ocean uh, to take the water when they need it. Um, but in reality, like on major ships, they'll have a sea chest and they basically suction in seawater in that spot. And then the various systems that need seawater will pull the water from the sea chest. Uh, so this is how it works on my ship. So these things are always on. There's a valve that helps fill it pretty quickly. And then also this intake pump makes sure, make sure that water is flowing into the sea chest. Uh, the holding tank is going down. Uh, this is in aux 2, so that's where we get that, that uh, sea chest salt water then gets put into the holding tank in aux 2 um, and then this is the desalinator so they're automatically on they're constantly pumping so that's why we want to keep this we want to get this going to fill it uh, and the fresh water tanks or the service pumps are always on and the hot water service pumps are on um, and then these are the controls basically to pump from cold to hot or hot to cold if we want to move that fresh water around uh, so it looks like the, the hot water tank is kind of low um, we can fill that hot water tank up and because the furnace is actually in the tank, uh, that water will cool down momentarily, but it will just then again heat back up as the furnace catches up with it. Uh, so we can have a lot of hot water for all the showers. All right. So I think that's it. That was like the major stuff I was doing and the most tedious stuff, to be honest. Uh, aside from that, we've got the fire mains just all throughout the ship, uh, all the fire stations. I'm not sure what else to put in. Uh, we've got this space over here. This is probably like the last large, or semi-large buildable area, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might do an AC plant, but I'm kind of, I don't know if I want to do it, <laughs> so I'm not sure. I might also 
I was thinking about putting a tiny birthing in here because I don't really have a crew's birthing. I've got some officers and like department head birthings, but not a crew birthing. It might be something I just leave out because I, I think this area might just be too small anyways because if I was to do that, I'd want to do um, like a small head so that those people have toilets and like showers and sinks and stuff. Um, but there's just, there's not a lot of room to put all that plus beds and stuff. I might try. We'll, we'll play around with it. So maybe in the, the next video you'll see what I've thought of. Uh, if I don't do that, then that's probably going to be some sort of... Um, air conditioning plant or something like that and then it's going to pump cold air around the ship and um, yeah that's just the the way that this ship is with the gigantic hangar bay it's just uh, um, yeah this is this would have been perfect for like a massive cruise berthing and stuff but because we had to accommodate this big hangar space uh, we kind of lost a lot of space also I need to fill in um, some sort of like sprinkler system for the hangar bay uh, might do that I'm not sure yet I did like the idea of having some sort of damage control fire station up here like for the hangar but I'm just not quite sure what I would want to put in here and um, with all the fireman stuff here already it's just going to look way way busy but yeah so some more details. Uh, that was, it might not seem like it was much to show, but uh, I tell you, that was painful to do all this pipe work uh, that was needed to get all those water systems in place. Ultimately, I'm really happy with it because um, I like in Stormworks being able to simulate marine engineering things. And one of the big things with ships is like the whole cycle of water. So, like using water, uh, how do you get it from the ocean into the ship? And then from when it's in the ship, how do you get it around to all the different systems that need it? And like, what are, what systems need it, you know? So it's cool that we can actually simulate um, the whole potable water cycle. Um, and then we can heat it up and send it to different uh, outlets that are going to use the water. And we, I, I do wish Stormworks had like smaller pipes so we can have sinks do both hot and cold water and that kind of stuff. But it's just, the pipes are just too large, so <laughs> it's too bad. Um, yeah, so... Uh, I think the next major thing I need to do is like figure out this stupid elevator because it won't go down. Uh, it it goes down in port, like I said, but um, just something about being on the ocean doesn't like it, and it's not dropping itself down. So that's just too bad. But yeah, hopefully we're getting there. I think um, I might release this soon because I, I I know that I have a lot of details that I want to put in, but I think the major details that I wanted to put in if I was to release this was to uh, get that water systems in because that that adds like mass to the ship and gives it a good feel and it's just something that you could do on the engineering side while you're just driving around um, so yeah if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below and i'll get to them as soon as possible and i'll see you next one bye